In this short video, we'll show you how easy it is to sign up for and use CyberCivics. After you've submitted your new school or renewal form, these are both found on our website, we will send the contact person at your school an email that looks like this. In it, you will find your proprietary link or links and instructions on how to register. These instructions explain the steps that anyone at your school or organization who wants to teach CyberCivics will take to open a personal account and get access to everything you'll need. I'm going to walk you through those steps right now. First, go to the email and select the link for the level of CyberCivics you want to teach. Remember, there are three levels of CyberCivics. Next, sign up on this page if you are a new teacher, or select Sign In if you already have an account. Once you're signed up or signed in, you'll be taken to the main menu. Please be sure to bookmark it. It's where you'll return to access all of your course resources. Start by reviewing the introductory material. As you scroll down, you'll see the actual lessons. They're organized into units. Every unit has a theme and includes a very short overview for the teacher. That's followed by a send home parent letter that includes activities that parent and child can do together that support every lesson you're about to teach. You'll notice that every unit includes between three to five lessons. Lessons are sequential and build upon previous skills. If you want to read the lesson plan online in full screen, simply click on the small icon at the bottom right hand of your screen. Otherwise, click again and return to this page. This is where you're going to access your downloads you'll find a downloadable PDF of the lesson plan. Each lesson now also includes PowerPoint slides that you can download and use too. And if there is student work, you can also download the student packet. These are PDF forms that students can either complete online or you can print and distribute. But please remember, the most important elements of every cyber civics lesson are the hands-on activities and discussion. No need to rely on computers for these. Some units have quizzes that you can administer to your students. These also include a quiz key. And sometimes there are videos that go along with the lessons. You can screen these directly from the system or, because they are all uploaded to YouTube, you can assign them as homework for parent and student to watch together. One more thing. We don't recommend downloading all the lessons at the beginning of the school year. That's because we are constantly updating them. So please make sure you have our most current resources. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you.